What up, guys? Happy Friday. Welcome back to the Cassius Clay producer team. Marley Cornell, what up? No Prada, Chris Lopez, Drift Boy, what up? Big shout out to everybody tuning in today. Happy Friday. Hope everybody's having a great week. Welcome back to the Cassius Clay producer team live stream. It's about to be crazy today. We're going to have a lot of producers tuning in today, sending me your beats. I'm about to post my email at the bottom right now. Producers, if this is your first time uh, tuning in today, I'm going to post my email at the bottom for submissions. So for the first five to ten minutes of today's episode, uh, I'm going to take email submissions. I actually already got a couple of emails already from some producers that had my email. So a big shout out to y'all who already checked in and sent me some beats. Anybody else who's just tuning in right now, right there at the bottom, I got pinned my email, richforeverclay at gmail. So send me some music, send me your beats, let me hear what you're working on. I'm going to give you feedback on your music. Uh, the reason why I have this live stream is because I get so many producers that hit me up throughout the week. They send me DMs. They want to collab with me. They want to work with me. I'm really, really focused right now and have a vision of projects and stuff I'm working on. So it's difficult for me to break my my train of uh, projects that I have lined up. And uh, I'm very picky about who I work with. So in order for me to find the next producers that I want to collaborate with and the next producer that I want to sign to my label, I set up this platform. So this way you guys can send me your music. I can hear what you're working on. It's kind of like we're all in the studio together, like a job interview or, you know, a way that we can play music show and tell, basically. You know what I'm saying? So uh, thank you. Big shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Everybody that appreciates the uh, opportunities that we have at hand right here. I appreciate y'all as well. Thank you everybody that shared the post and told people that we were going live today. Let's see how many people we can get to turn out. But uh, basically, yeah, this uh, this platform is so you guys can get your chance to work with me, to collaborate with me. A lot of people say, yo, how much are my beats? To be honest, at this time, I don't even sell beats. Everything that I make gets shopped out for industry artists. I'm, I'm signed to Rich the Kid currently, and I have access to pretty much every major artist artist and every label in the industry I send beats to every single week. So if I'm going to pick people that want to work with me and especially people that don't have any placements yet, I want to make sure that you guys are serious about what you do and that you take my opportunity serious as well and that you respect us like a family. So again, shout out to everybody that's tuning in. That's a little bit about what we do here and why I built this platform of the Cassius Clay producer team. And uh, I want to hear what you guys are sending me today, because when I like what I hear, chances are I'm going to want to collaborate with you. I'm going to send you a DM when we get out of here. And not only me, but there's other producers in here as well and other producers that work with industry artists. So if you hear something that you like uh, from another producer, send them a DM. Tell them you want to collaborate, you want to work with them. Because honestly, uh, the last producer that I signed, I met through here on my live stream. The other producers that I'm interested in signing are all met through here, through this uh, this situation that I got going right here. So basically, guys, if you want to work with me, this is the place to be. These are like job interviews. So everybody, thank you for your patience. Everybody who's my uh, been checking in every day for every stream that I do on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Yo, big big up to y'all. Thank you. I appreciate my loyal supporters who come through multiple times throughout the week and always sending me stuff. Uh, so yeah, just send me some heat. I see my emails filling up already. Uh, so at a certain point, I can only place so many emails today. I go live for about an hour from 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock New York City time. So I'm going to try and get to everybody's beats today. But yo, these emails are filling up quick today. So uh, in about five more minutes, I'm going to stop taking email submissions. Excuse me. And I'm just going to start playing you guys' beats and giving you some feedback. So uh, again, yo, thank you everybody that tuned in. Appreciate all y'all. Uh, we got producers in here from Algeria, from North Africa, producers from Washington State on the West Coast. I'm in Jersey right now. Uh, we got people from Florida, I see, checking in, people from Spain, people from all over the globe. So really, this is about uh, you know putting together all the best producers all around the world in one location. I want to have a team of producers that we can take over the industry and get a lot of placements together. I can't do everything by myself. Teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get it, guys. Let me hear what y'all sent me today. In the meantime, I'm going to play a little bit of Cassius Clay Beats for the next few minutes until uh, we get enough email submissions. I'm going to let a few more come in before we start playing you guys' music. All right? Thank you, everybody. Stay tuned.
just tuning in right now. I didn't catch my warning. I got my email posted at the bottom. I'm going to need you all to send me your beats. I'm giving feedback on your music today. If I like what I hear, I'm probably going to end up hitting you up in the DMs when we get out of here and asking you some questions about, you know, how long you've been making beats, what do you use to make beats. I want to know how seriously you guys take your business and uh, maybe what kind of placements you have, who are you working with, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not all about numbers and followers. I could care less if you have 100 followers or if you have 100,000 followers. I'm just looking for people that got talent and that could add a nice addition to my team that I'm putting together. So uh, if you're sending me music, guys, I'm seeing my emails flooding up right now. Uh, just make sure you stay tuned. If I'm going to give you feedback on your beats, just hang around. I'm going to get to everybody's beats in the order that they send them to me. So if you, some of y'all might have to wait 10, 15 minutes till I get to your beat, but I just ask if you could just please stay here. Don't go anywhere because when it's time to play your beat, I'm going to check the list on the top here. I can see who's still watching. And if you're not watching, I'm not going to play your beats and give you feedback. So if you want me to give you feedback and play your beats, just hang tight. I'm going to get to everybody's music. got about 15 emails right now so everybody hang tight I'm gonna start playing the beats in about three minutes thank you again everybody that's tuning in I appreciate y'all let's go I just made some dinner so I'm about to be eating my dinner while I listen to your beats I'm comfortable relaxed I ain't going nowhere and uh, y'all just hold tight. I got y'all. In about two minutes, I'm going to stop taking emails. So, guys, this is your last chance. If you're just tuning in, send me some fire right now. Let me hear what you got. Big shout out to Calderon Kennels, Florida, what up? Guys, we got like one minute left and then I'm closing the email submissions for the day. No Prada says, yo Clay, do I use Fruity Loops 20? Uh, I actually don't use Fruity Loops, I use Logic. I've been using Logic ever since I pretty much started making beats, and I just fell in love with it. I just kept practicing and getting better and better at it. But most of the producers that I collaborate with, uh, they all use Fruity Loops. Big shout out to everybody that tuned in today. I appreciate all y'all. Welcome to the Cassius Clay producer team. About to start playing some of you guys' beats. I got a shit ton of submissions today, so I appreciate everybody that sent me in some fire today. I can't wait to hear what y'all sent me. I'm sure there's some heat in here. I'm gonna tag each producer at the bottom and uh, so you know whose beats we're listening to. Guys, if you like what you hear, send a DM to the producers when I'm playing their beats. Uh, send them a DM when we get out of here. 
let them know you want to work with them. I love it when you guys collaborate with each other. There's actually a whole bunch of collaborations that have been happening, which is really, really fire. Uh, I love it when you guys work together. All right. We're about to get into the first section of beats right now. Um, I'm going to put the producer's name at the bottom. Give me one second. This first pack that came into me, he always sends me something real early at the beginning. Uh, it's Freezy. Freezy on the beat. He's from Algeria, North Africa. So big shout out to Freezy for always tuning in. He's a, a loyal supporter of the Cassius Clay's producer team. I think you guys are going to like his beats too. I'm going to write his, at, uh, his Instagram at, at the bottom right now. He's uh, Freezy on the beat. 19. Give me one second. I'm just typing this in. All right, guys, so uh, Beats by Freezy on the beat. I just posted him at the bottom. Let me just make sure I got the spelling right. Freezy on the beat 19. All right. So, uh, yeah, man, we about to get it lit right now. You guys ready for some beats? Hear what we're working on over here? Let's get into this first pack sent by Freezy. Shout out to Algeria. A whole bunch of uh, loyal supporters from Algeria. North Africa, always on the check-in. Freezy's the drill master. He got a whole bunch of different styles. I love his drill beats, but let's get right into the music. First beat came in from Freezy Beats. This one's called Summertime. Let's go. what you think of the beat. Fire beat, bro. Uh, Calderon Kendall said, this is a go. Everybody's caught, man. This shit is fire. Um, the song was called Summertime. That's definitely a summertime smash right there. Somebody said Chris Brown. I could totally hear a big, big, big record right there. Uh, the mix sounded clean. Your melodies were fire. Drum programming was great. Uh, that beat was absolutely a hit, in my opinion. That's definitely a record with the right artist on it. That could that could be out of here. That's a, that's a platinum hit right there. Fire, fire. Big shout out to Freezy on the beat. We about to get to the next one right now. This one's called Warrior. Shout out to Freezy on the beats. Coming in from Algeria, North Africa. Let's go. We got the whole world on the check-in, guys. We're putting all the best producers around the world in the same studio at the same time. Right here, live. Let's go. <laughs>
shit. This shit is amazing. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. It's hard to hear through the phone. Somebody said it's the 808 in tune. Uh, it sounds good over here from my speakers. Uh, let me know if you're hearing anything that sounds weird coming through the, uh, the phone. Sometimes the beats don't pick up as good as I'm hearing them live on my speakers. So if you guys want me to move my phone or adjust it where the speakers are, let me know if you want it louder or if you guys could hear the beats I. But um, yo, big shout out to uh, Freezy on the beat. Uh, I personally love his drill beats. I think his drill shit is all fire. I love his glides that he uses and his drum programming. Melodies are always real big. I could hear like a, a 504 in or a, you know pop smoke kind of vibe. I mean, there's a whole movement coming out of Brooklyn right now. Brooklyn, New York, got a bunch of drill artists and stuff. So, guys, if you're looking for that drill vibe, hit up Freezy. He got that heat. And let's get into this last one from Freezy on the Beats. This one's called Gold. We're going to play this beat, and then I'm getting into the next submission from the next producer. We got a whole bunch coming in today. Thank you, everybody that's tuning in, all the producers from all around the world. And uh, let's go. This one's called Gold, coming in from Freezy on the beat. Shout out to Algeria. Let's go. That was another fire one so you guys can hear all of freezy's different styles um i like that beat a lot people were commenting on the harp melody melodies was fire i like the drum programming and how you had that stutter kick that brr, that shit was fire um me personally i heard like a couple of the 808s could have been in a different key and a different pitch to match up but like people are commenting that's definitely an offset kind of vibe right there uh, that's a big tune, big tune. So, yo, thank you, Freezy, on the beats from Algeria, North Africa. Always sending me that fire, always tuning in. He is a problem on the beats, yo. D keep your eyes open for Freezy on the beats, man. He's a producer to watch for. He has a big, big, big future coming up. I can see it. Uh, this next beat submission that I got coming in, this one comes in from uh, Produced by Rated R. Produced by Rated R, are you in the building? Prude by Rated R. I'm about to write you at the bottom right now. <laughs> I'm just looking for your at name so I type it properly. Give me a second. Read it off. To make it easier, you guys know what it is. I'm just going to pin him at the bottom. So everybody, this is a beat that just came in from Produced by Rated R. 
Uh, yeah, and by the way, guys, I do save all these lives and put them on my Instagram TV. Also, if you hit my, um, my link in my bio, it takes you to my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel because what I do is I upload all these videos on my YouTube channel. The only thing that's different when it gets to my YouTube channel is that we don't get the comment section. Like here, we get to see who the producer is and we get to see all you guys commenting. So when I put this on my YouTube channel, unfortunately, we don't get the comment section. So what you guys can do while I'm shouting out your name and I'm saying like, oh, this next beat came in from produced by Rated R, you guys can leave a comment on my YouTube channel underneath the video and tell people, hey, at this time or at this part in the video in the live stream, uh, this is me producing the song. I'm Rated R or I'm Polvo Beats. I'm, uh, you know, no product beats. So just, you know, tag yourself. Let people know this is your Instagram because when people find you on my YouTube channel and they may hear your name, they won't know what your Instagram is or how to find you. So if you leave a comment in the comment section under the videos when I post these on my live, uh, my YouTube, I mean, uh, that'd be a great way for you to help, you know, open up some more opportunities so people can find you. So, uh, yeah, hit, hit the, hit the button in my, uh, my bio when we get out of here, link in bio, it'll take you to my YouTube channel, subscribe, you'll see I have about 25 of these videos already posted up there from the previous weeks. I've only been doing this since like April. So this is a brand new opportunity I just started putting out for you guys because I wanna put all you producers together. I wanna find some new talent. I have a shit ton of opportunities on the table and I wanna share the love with producers who's really nice. So uh, let's get back to the beats right now. You see I got them pinned at the bottom right now, produced by Rated R. Uh, Rated R, let everybody know where you're from, man. Shout out uh, your state, your city, your country, where you're from, where you rep, bro. And uh, let's get right into this beat. This one's called Heaven, produced by Rated R. Let's go. Massachusetts, let's go. is nuts. Don't see me stuffing my face. I'm eating dinner, but I'm still here with y'all, man. The show must go on. Yo, big, big, big shout out to Rated R. Rated R just sent some fire. He said he could hear Rich the Kid on that. I could too, actually. Uh, big shout out to Rated R. He's from Massachusetts. He's been tuning in a lot lately, sending me some fire. He sent me another one right here. He's next on the list. Uh, so let's get right into it. Also, I want to let you guys know, uh, you're more than welcome to screen record this. You guys can take screenshots and uh, when we get out of here, uh, post this that you know we did a live today that I'm giving you feedback, whatever it is that you appreciate about today's show and uh, post it in your story. Tag me in it when you post it and I'll repost it to my network. I got a lot of people watching me in my story. Uh, Rich the Kid looks at all my stories. I'm currently signed to his label. Uh, I have a whole bunch of industry executives, A&Rs, other famous musicians and rappers and producers that follow me. They look at my stories. People are looking for talent too and people to work with. <laughs> so um, basically, if you uh, take a screenshot, post it on your story, tag me, I'll repost it. Chances are that somebody will see you on my story and will click on it because they want to know who you are too or why I'm shouting you out. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's a two-way street. You show me love, I'll show you love right back. We can help build each other's network. Your network is your net worth, you know what I'm saying? Don't mind me, I'm just stuffing my face, eating some food. Health is wealth. But uh, let's get into this next beat right here from uh, produced by Rated R. This one's called Respect. Let's go.
fire here. I like the little drums, the, the percussion you got going through it. The melodies is fire. Somebody said it sounds like a little Uzi beat. The mix sounds clean. Big shout out to Rated R. Hey, Dexter. Somebody said Dex. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a proper beat right there. Melodies is fire, drums, little percussion you got going in there. All sounds clean. Your mix sounds good. That's a really important thing, too. I tell producers when you're sending out beats, you don't want to have, uh, especially when you send them to industry artists, industry artists, when they hear a beat and they're playing it live in the studio and they want to record over it, they're going to want to jump on that beat right there on the spot. So the point is, producers, make sure that when you send out beats to artists that you don't have your producer tag going through the whole thing. Only have one producer tag at the beginning of your beat, early in the beat, so they know who it is, they know who to contact, they know it's you. But other than that, make sure the beat is open and has a smooth canvas so the artist can just jump right on it and the shit is clean. It's a go. It makes rappers happy, makes engineers happy. No editing has to be done. They don't have to waste time calling you up or emailing you, asking you to send a beat without the tags. So that's pretty much it. Big shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Shout out to DJ Ammo in the building. Much love. If you guys got any questions in between as I'm not playing beats uh, and it's not a, excuse me, it's not a complicated question. Uh, just ask me something. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions for you guys as well. Uh, if you guys want to know about a little bit about the business, about placements, about how to approach artists to get them to your beats, uh, collaborations, anything, just uh, you know, let me know. Uh, I got you guys. I'm going to try my best to answer your questions. I don't know if I'm going to have time today to answer your questions at the end of the live stream, but I'll try my best. Uh, this next pack of beats came in right here from uh, No Prada. Big shout out to No Prada Beats. Let me find him right now in the list and I'll tag him at the bottom for you guys. Give me one second. All right, so I just pinned him at the bottom, guys. This is uh, this next pack came in from No Prada Beats. Uh, before we start playing No Prada's Beats, uh, he's a producer from the from the United States. He's from Tennessee. I'll give you a little bit about him. Uh, he's he's 13 years old. No Prada is a 13-year-old beat prodigy, in my opinion. Uh, I met him on the live stream on Wednesday. Uh, shout out to Versatile G. He recommended that uh, No Prada Beats stop by and play me some beats so I can give him some feedback on his music. And to be honest, uh, I was really impressed, but I'd like to hear your guys' opinion too. He's 13 years old, bro. 13-year-old producer from Tennessee. Y'all ready for this? I'm about to play you some of his heat right now. Big shout out to No Prada Beats for tuning back in today, for sending me some heat, because I know it's heat before I even listen to it. Let's get right into this first beat. This one's called, uh, I believe the beat's called Soul Food, which is perfect, because I was just eating some soul food, so it's right, right on time. <laughs> ready? Prada Bro, Beats, let's go. Okay, Joe, that's fine. He said that's not yours. Oh, okay, my bad. It's not mine. I sent those for him. Okay, so I had a little misunderstanding there. Pardon me, guys. I thought that was an old Prada. Uh, this first email actually is somebody else that he sent me beats for, somebody called Royal Ron. So uh, before I play those, to be honest, let me just cut it right there. Um, I, don't, I believe he's not here right now. So just to be fair to all the producers that are here, I want to only play beats for the producers that are here and that are actually watching. So uh, no disrespect to, uh, you said that was Royal Ron's beats. Uh, I'd rather play some No Prada beats because I, I hyped you up with the intro. So let's, let's get right back to this. Once again, this is super producer, 13-year-old producer, No Prada. Uh, actually, he's, it's a collaboration, this first one, with the producer that signed to me, who's a 15-year-old producer. His name is Polvo. He's the first one that I sent to, uh, that I signed to my label. Uh, he's the first producer on my label, Polvo. He's 15. No Prada is 13. So this is the future of hip-hop right here. Let's get right into this next beat. This one comes in from No Prada and Polvo. Let's go.
the future of music and hip hop producers, I promise you. Watch No Prada Beats Shine. Watch. And Polvo. My team is going to be disgusting. Stay tuned. That's it. That's all you guys are getting. That is a smash, 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 smash hit. <laughs> that shit is out of here. Yo. You literally, I can't but help to smile. That shit makes me smirk. We're talking about a 13-year-old kid from middle America and a 15-year-old producer. Like, that's that's crazy, bro. The youth have it, man. I've been doing this for, you know, in the industry for well over 12 years working with industry artists. And when I see something like that, you know, coming from me, a platinum producer, I know what talent is and what, like, music is supposed to be going. And these guys are creating their own lane. I'm really, really grateful that they showed up here. Guys, if you like what you hear, make sure you drop a comment. If you like what you're hearing from the producers, send them a DM and tell them you want to work. Uh, a lot of, lot of collaborations going on, a lot of opportunities happening, a lot of chances for people to get more placements. Let's get right into this next beat right here from No Prada. This one's called Arcade. Let's go. Big shout out to No Prada, 13-year-old beat prodigy. Let's go. Somebody said 22 G's. Yeah, man. Yo, that track was just lined up nice. He said that's something that he made back in March as well. Uh, the glide sounded great. Melody sounded great. Lots of transitions. Only thing that I heard with the beat that I wouldn't recommend was something that I just said a few minutes ago, which was not to have your tags going throughout the beat. But uh, I understand that's not getting submitted to, a, uh, to an artist to rap over. But when you do send that out for an artist to get rapped over, make sure your tag's not in the middle of the beat to fuck up the artist's flow. That's the only comment that I have about it. Beats, other than that, shit sounds fire. Let's get to this last beat uh, coming in from No Prada. We're already at about 36 minutes right now, and I have a bunch more emails left. So I have a feeling, guys, when my hour is up, I'm going to restart the clock again. We're going to probably come back for a little while longer because uh, we got a lot of people tuned in and a lot of talent, and I want to hear everybody's beats today. So if you guys are hanging around, I'm going to keep playing beats, and we'll go back for another hour, but uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Let's get into this next beat right here from No Prada. No Prada on the beat, 13-year-old beat prodigy. Let's go. tuned in. I appreciate y'all. Let's go.
West Coast balance to it. Everybody's uh, loving it in the comment section. Big shout out to No Prada for sending in that fire. Again, I apologize. I didn't get to play your friends beats that you had submitted as well. I just prefer to let everybody that's here actually watching hear the stuff. But uh, yeah, man, 13 year old No Prada. He's a problem, guys. Hit him up in the DMs. Get beats from him. He got a Beat Stars channel. Cop beats off him. Support the movement. He has nothing but a huge career ahead of him. I see a bright, bright future for Young Prada. Uh, right now, we about to get into the next section of beats right now that you guys sent me. This one came in from uh, Marley. Uh, I'm not sure what your Instagram is. Uh, Marley, you still here in the building? Just give me a shout out really quick. Let me know you're here and I'll tag you at the bottom. Uh, Marley Cornell, produced by Marley C. I see you. I'm just looking for your, your uh, comment so I could uh, pin you at the bottom. There we go. Okay, guys, boom. Thank you, Marley. Appreciate it. Yo, big shout out to uh, Produced by Marley C. Uh, we about to get into some of his beats right now, his submissions. Let everybody know where you're from. Uh, rep your city, your state, your country, wherever you're from, whatever you want to rep. Let people know where you're at, and let's get into this next submission. Thank you, everybody that's tuning in. Welcome to the Cassius Clay Producer Team. It's a live stream where we put together a bunch of producers from all over the world, so y'all can collaborate with each other. If I like what I hear, I'm going to want to collaborate with you. Oh, that's right. Marley said he's a 13-year-old producer from Australia. So, yo, the youth them is all here, man, and they got that fire. I can't wait to hear what Marley got. He told me he was going to tune in. Mind you guys, it's 8 o'clock a.m. in Australia right now. Homie set his alarm clock to wake up at 8 a.m. to tune into this live just to submit music. So big up to Marley C. He's been producing only for a couple months. He's dedicated. Uh, he hit me up in the DMs yesterday and told me that he was going to tune in. He's 15 hours ahead already it's already saturday morning 8 a.m and he's here at 8 o'clock a.m listening to this and tuning in with us so yo much respect to marley and the future of hip-hop the future of music everybody who's going out of their way to tune in right now i appreciate y'all let's get right into this beat submission marley carnell let's go <laughs> tell he's making his own melodies too like he's hitting the keys he's programming i, I can hear that with the horns Yo, got marley c everybody's loving your beats in the comment section g Yo, he's only 13 years old from Australia. Said he's been making beats for a couple months. If I'm not mistaken, he started off on GarageBand, if I, if I heard him correctly. I believe that was a conversation we had yesterday. Um, yo, basically, beat sounds fire. I could tell what you're doing. I could tell what you're inspired by. Um, sounds great. Uh, the 808s maybe could use a little bit of volume. Some of the hi-hats maybe were a little bit too loud, but that's all going to come with practice. If you've been only making beats for two months, you sound a lot better than some producers that have been making beats for years. So just stay true to your craft. Keep being inspired. Uh, ask to collaborate with some producers that you're going to meet on here in my live streams. Keep tuning in. Uh, ask other people to work with you. Send DMs. Ask people to help you out and to give you input. We're all here to help each other out. Uh, he said he's only had Fruity Loop Studio for a couple of weeks. That's right. I believe he said he started making beats first on an iPad using GarageBand. And then he just upgraded to Fruity Loop Studio about two weeks now. So, yeah, man, you got a lot more growth left to go and a lot more experience, which is only going to improve your craft, in my opinion. Uh, you definitely have potential right now. 
I could tell by your music. As you're mixing and listening to your music and you have the opportunity to listen to your music on different types of uh, speakers and, and in different environments, I would recommend that'll help your mixing a lot. For instance, when I make a beat and I want to tell how my mix sounds, I'll listen to them, of course, on my studio speakers to hear how they sound. I'll listen to them on a pair of headphones to know how it sounds because in each, uh, in each area, it's going to sound totally different on different types of speakers. So as you're listening to it in different types of speakers, whether it's on a studio monitors, headphones, inside a car stereo, you know, riding around in the car, uh, you should always get an idea of how your mix sounds on different types of platforms and different types of speakers. Write down notes of what you hear and what you don't hear of things you could improve. Go back, adjust it, and then listen to it again. So I always like to use three different types of speakers, uh, home studio speakers, or you know, studio monitors, a pair of headphones, and at least a car if you can, because they're gonna give you a different idea of what your beat's gonna sound like to different people. So uh, yeah, man, big shout out to Marley C. Thank you for tuning in, 8 a.m. in Australia right now. Uh, big shout out to Brandon P. What up, I see you checking in. We're listening to beats getting sent in from a bunch of different producers from all around the world, uh, giving feedback. I'm looking to sign some more producers to my label right now. And uh, Streaming service is now the norm of output source. Yeah, man. Streaming records is where it's at. You're right, Calderon. Big shout out to everybody that's tuning in, man. I appreciate all y'all from North Africa, from Tennessee, from Washington State, from Florida, uh, all over the world, man. We got a whole bunch of talent in here from Australia. Uh, this next beat right here is uh, coming in from Polvo, who's actually signed to me. So, yo, Polvo is in the building. If you want to just give me a quick shout out at the bottom and uh, I'll, I'll pin your comment. And then we'll get right into Povo Beats, guys. There we go. Actually, I'll use this one right here. I got one. Povo's in the building. He's a producer that's signed to me. He's 15 years young from Washington State. He has a big future ahead of him. We're already sending out uh, the beats that me and him do together. We send out to Rich the Kid on the regular. I don't want to say too much, but there may be some songs already recorded with Rich the Kid on it, but y'all didn't hear that from me. And um, yeah, man, a lot more things happening. So stay tuned. I see a lot of good things in Povo's future as well. Let's get into this beat that he sent me right here. This one's called Tax. Let's go. Oh yeah, and by the way, producers, don't worry. I'm going to get to everybody's beats. Just please be patient. I have a whole list that I'm playing in order that I received them. So each producer, I'm playing about a minute and a half of each beat, and then I'm going to the next section. So everybody hang tight, and we're going to play everybody's beats. Let's go. Polvo on the beat right here, guys. Let's go. on the beats from Algeria and Polvo. Polvo to the drums, Freezy to the melodies. Let's go. the drum programming, the different transitions you have coming in and out. It's great when you hear two different producers collaborate and put both their sounds together. Uh, big shout out to Freezy on the beat from Algeria. Big shout out to Polvo Beats, signed to me. Uh, you guys are amazing working together. I love the chemistry. I love the beat. Sounds fire. Other producers that's here, if you like what you hear, hit up these producers. Tell them you want to work. Let's get some collaborations going on. Uh, my boy Mike Future Beats, that you can see, he's in the building too right there. Just drop the fire emojis. Uh, he's working on a lot of major artists and albums as well right now. So hit him up. I know he's always looking for loops. So if producers, you think you got what it takes to get some more industry placements, hit up Mike Future Beats as well. He's always looking to collab with really talented producers. Uh, he's already gotten some placements for producers that have met here uh, together. Some producers that met here, uh, I believe something with Babyface and him got something together already. But uh, 
Basically guys, if you're just tuning in, you didn't hear yet, when we get out of here, hit the link in my bio. This will take you to my YouTube channel because what I do is I upload these Instagram live streams to my YouTube channel so you guys can watch them, share them, play them back, drop comments in the comment section so people know who you are. Uh, basically show the love, keep spreading the love and uh, we'll help each other out. Teamwork makes the dream work. We got a really dope platform here for all these producers to link up together here on this live stream, find some more talent. I'm looking to find more producers to collaborate with, more producers to sign to my label, and uh, let's see what happens. This next beat submission that came in right here is from uh, Alex. Alex uh, Butterer, Butter, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Are you in the building still? I'm about to play your beats. Let me know what your uh, Instagram ad is and I'll tag you at the bottom. I just wanna make sure everybody's here before I play your beats. So uh, if somebody sent me something from uh, from Alex Butterer, Buderer. sorry, I apologize if I'm not good at pronouncing your name. <laughs> uh, so if you're still here in the building, uh, let me know. Just shout yourself out at the bottom right now so I can pin you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, bro. So this is from uh, ELXON The Beat. I'm not sure how to say your producer name. What's your producer name? How do you how do you say it? L's on the beat. Where are you from? Let everybody know where you're from, where you rep. We'll get right into your beat pack right now. You all ready? This one's called uh, Diamond District. Let's go. Guys, the producer's pinned at the bottom so you know who's making these beats right here. Let's go. ELX. ELX, got it. Out to Germany on the check in ELX. Let's go. Produced by Ando, Germany. What up? I know uh, Joey Reverse from Germany as well usually checks in. Germany always on the check in. I appreciate y'all. I'm part German myself. I'm a European mutt. programming I like the bounce uh, the only thing that I hear my personal opinion is sometimes the melody can get a little repetitive I'd like to maybe hear some different melodies coming in and out or some different change-ups with the sounds and the instruments but for the most part it could totally work as well just as much as uh, you know the way it is so that was fire the mix sounded pretty clean let's get right into the next one right here this one's called famous also came in from ELX shout out to Germany let's go <laughs> melody that's a really good ear a little repetitive but again it could work again I'd love to hear some different transitions and different instruments come in and maybe even a couple of um, filters could even be applied to it some different EQ filters you know to change it up a little bit but the beat was dope though bro big shout out to uh, ELX beats let's get into his last one right here this one's called clout Let's go. Yeah, I like 
Whatever that sample is, that shit hot, bro. sound hard too. Nice little breakdown. Good drum programming. Yo, big shout out to ELX. Thank you for sending some fire, G. Big shout out to Germany. I see you. Uh, guys, so we're already almost at about uh, one hour, and you know what happens at the one hour mark? They shut me off, and I have to restart the live stream. So I still got about like another 15 submissions that have been coming in, and I want to be fair to everybody because I really think you'll appreciate today's episode because I do too. I've heard a lot of fire beats today. Everybody's been sending heat, yo. Uh, I'm going to definitely be hitting some of y'all up in the DMs when we get out of here. I'm loving what I'm hearing. So I uh, just want to thank everybody for tuning in today, everybody that's been sending me beats. When I reset my live stream in about five minutes, uh, just make sure everybody come right back on. Uh, give me about one minute to reset my live stream and I'll come right back on and finish playing the rest of the beats. But right now, before we end this hour, I have literally five minutes. Do you guys have any questions? Type at the bottom if you have any questions for me. Uh, things that you want me to uh, answer for you really quick, maybe about industry questions, business questions, placement opportunities, uh, any questions about my live stream, anything you would, would you guys like to know in general, I'd be more than happy to answer a couple questions for you. I'm going to give you about five minutes. We're just going to chill right now, take a little breather, and then we'll go back to the live stream so we can do another, uh, another hour. How's Rich the Kid? Rich the Kid's doing great. He's working really hard, man. Rich the Kid is one of the hardest working artists I've worked with. He's literally in the studio every single night recording, working on something. He has an engineer that he travels with as well, which is pretty dope because uh, he gets to record anywhere he goes. If he's in a hotel room, if he's just stopping by a friend's crib or an office, he brings his portable studio with him with his engineer and they can record anywhere. So if they're at a music video shoot, let's say for instance, doing a music video shoot, they can go to the tour bus, set up the studio and record in between the takes for the music video. So literally I've seen him record in his car. I've seen him record in offices. He just works harder than everybody. He's working on The World Is Yours 3. Uh, there may be a possible mixtape coming out as well. Uh, I think Rich Forever 5 may be on the way too really soon. So yeah, he's always working really hard. Jay Critch, you got stuff coming. Dex is always working. The whole Rich Forever family. That's my family, man. So uh, I'm, I'm inspired to work with people that work just as hard as me or if not harder. Uh, it pushes you to keep going. So that's what I'm definitely looking for as well. I'm looking for people to... Uh, to collaborate with that work as hard as me and understand what it takes. I see somebody said that uh, he sent beats to Rich the Kid and never got an answer. Uh, my answer to that is that that's perfectly cool because he doesn't respond when I send him beats either, but he records them all the time and I don't worry about it. Uh, the artist not going to tell you, yo, I used your beat. Uh, an artist like Rich the Kid is recording maybe three, four songs a day. I'm not even exaggerating. Uh, so for him to take time out of his day and tell every producer that he works with that, hey, I recorded something over your beat would waste too much of his time and energy. He's worrying about what he has to do and what our job as producers is to make sure that we keep sending them beats every Every single week, every single month, consecutively, nonstop. When I got my first placement with Rich the Kid, he didn't respond to any of my emails. I sent him beats for nine months, guys, nine months, without ever hearing anything back from Rich the Kid. You know what happened after nine months? After sending Rich the Kid 30, 40 beats every month, sending him packs of beats, 
Rich the Kid calls me up because he had my phone number. We met in the studio back in LA about nine months before that. I get a random phone call. I pick it up. Rich the Kid goes, yo, bro, congratulations. You made the album. And you know why I made the album? Because of persistence. I never gave up. It's not the artist's responsibility to ask the producer for beats. If we're claiming to be a producer and this is our brand, we have to keep advertising and promoting. If you're not pissing off the artist and you're not asking them questions like, yo, did you use my beats? Did you like my beats? What did you think of my beats? And you're not wasting their time and you're keeping it strictly business like, yo, here's this week's pack. Yo, here's this week's pack. Sent you some fire. Here's this week's pack. That's it. Just send them an email. Let them know that you're sending them stuff. Because if somebody feels you're just coming in to stick and move, which means that you're going to ask them to send them beats, you're going to do it one time, and you're just going to disappear and give up, that proves that you're not really down for the cause. It looks more like you were just looking for an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? If they they Rich the Kid fucks with me because I was persistent for nine months. I never gave up. I kept my brand in his face, kept advertising like, yo, new beat pack, new beat pack. So basically what I'm trying to say is you can't discourage, you can't get discouraged when somebody doesn't respond to your email. Uh, that's not their job, you know what I'm saying, to, to get back to you. Your job is to be the best producer and to make sure that you're flooding them with the newest music that you have because when you get lucky when you're, oppor when you're prepared for the opportunity uh, and by continually sending them beats, you're going to look like that you're down with them, you respect their hustle, that you want to be part of the family and that you're not just sending something one time to take a chance and you're like, oh, fuck this, it's too hard, I'm just going to give up. You can't, you can't think like that. These guys are on a multi-million dollar budget worrying about families, worrying about flights, worrying about booking concerts for 10,000 people. You know what I'm saying? They're in a whole other world than worrying about beats. They can get beats all day long from any producer in the industry. Why would they use one of your beats? They're going to use one of your beats when they see that you're persistent that you you're uh, continually sending them fire and that your name keeps popping up that proves that you have a brand that you respect and that you're working really hard for and they want you to work just as hard as them that's the key so if they feel like they see your email one time and and you never send them anything again you're not going to get noticed by that artist you can't waste their time at the same time you have to be persistent you know what i mean it's a combination of everything with with experience this is what i've learned on my personal journey that helped me along the way so uh i hope that sh shined a little bit of insight on you guys we're actually just about at the end of this live stream right now. It's going to turn off in about uh, 40 seconds. We're going to get frozen. I'm going to reset this live stream and come right back on because I have a shit ton of beats that you guys keep sending me. And I'm really excited to hear what else is sent. So producers, if you sent me some fire, stay tuned. We're going to come right back on. I want to make sure you're here when I'm playing you your beats. And uh, that was a great question. Thank you for the question that you asked me about, um, you know, sending beats to an artist one time and they didn't respond. You know, is that a good or bad thing? And yes, it's a perfectly normal thing when artists don't respond and don't take it personally ever. That's the most important thing. So guys, give me about one minute. Uh, I'm going to reset this live stream and I'll be right back on. Thank you, everybody that's tuning in. Uh, it's the Cassius Clay producer team, uniting producers all around the world, one beat at a time.